Hi everybody, these are the reviews of mobile games from Mob.org, and as always, this is Jay. Today we will participate in space races, we will fight against evil, we will smash up dozens of zombies with a baseball bat, we will learn to run a kingdom, play basketball, and also construct a fortified military base. Let's go! The first game for today is the racing arcade Future Racing 3D. As you would guess by the title, the game is designed around racing in the distant future. Locations are arranged in such a way reminiscent of Star Wars or something eerily similar. The dynamics of the game are felt perfectly, and speeds in this game are really fantastic. Zoom. In the garage, you can upgrade your existing ships and buy new ones, and you can post your records to the social network and many other things. The second game is called Summon Masters, and it's an RPG. The developers apparently tried to do it in an old-school Japanese RPG style, with life bars and damage displayed by figures floating over the heads of characters. The graphics here is in a cute anime style and are quite good. The game, though, doesn't try to look more serious than it is. Much like RPGs of old, you aren't in control of one character, but a whole group. It is not something new in games, of course, but on mobile devices, it's rather uncommon. Next up, Zombie Age 2. It is quite your standard slasher involving zombies, but standard here doesn't mean bad. In general, a slasher is something that's dynamic and at the same time relaxing, and this game is no exception. We play, of course, for survival by ripping through mobs of the living dead. Besides the main objective, which is to survive, each mission has also submissions. To kill more than 60 zombies, for example. The more achievements you gather, the more stars you get for the level. Next, Age of Warring Empires. It's a strategy in a fantasy world, magic and so on, and according to the authors, the main plus of the game is interaction with other users, which, by the way, there are a lot of them. You can make alliances or destroy neighbors depending on your strategy. So think like a strategist, create your city, build an army, adjust your diplomacy, it's all in your hands, at least until a stronger rival comes along. The next game is the basketball simulator NBA 2K14. For the most part, it's an ordinary basketball simulator. The control system is standard for sports simulators and quite smooth to operate. Here everything is pretty clear. Teams, standings, leaderboards, nothing really new here. It would be nice to point out the cool graphics, the interaction and kinematics of characters. Sometimes during game breaks and cutaways, dudes embrace, shake each other's hands, and in general behave almost like they're alive, which really helps to immerse you in the game. So I advise it to fans of basketball. And the last game for today, Battlefront Heroes. This game requires a continuous internet connection, but that isn't a surprise. After all, it is based on the interaction of players. Think of it as a military sim city with the graphics of Farm Frenzy, where you build a city not only just to function, but to create an army. Oh, and to protect yourself from external invasions, obviously. So you have protective tunnels, barracks, and other regular accoutrements of a military camp that are at your full command. Build, develop, amass your army, cooperate with friends, and go on the attack! Well, that's all for today. If you liked the review, follow us and click on like. This was Jay with reviews from Mob.org. See you!